I noticed a few weeks back against Texas A&M, you were the first one on the field to warm up. I'm wondering if that was because you're still recovering from the injury, wanted to just get out there, get warmed up a little bit more, or if there's a personal reason of you wanting to be out there and being the first one and getting ready. Um, that's just like uh, a routine I do all the time. I usually go out first and just get warmed up on my own, just do a couple things to get ready. But there's nothing, nothing serious, but that's all I do. Elijah, how, how long did it take you to feel close to 100% healthy, or do you feel back to 100% healthy yet? Uh, I mean, during the season, probably never be 100%, but uh, as the games go on, I'm gradually uh, getting better and better, feeling way better right now. So I feel good, actually. So. Elijah, Coach Garner was here and said you were having a good spring, having a good camp, and you get hurt maybe two weeks before the season starts. How did, how did you kind of not get down knowing that you were going to have a, a kind of a long process to get back, get, have to wait till midseason? How did you kind of stay up and make sure that you were ready when you did come back and get healthy? Uh, just trying to keep the same exact mindset as I had uh, as I was going through our camp. Uh, not feeling down on myself. I know I was going to come back eventually. So just trying to keep, maintain weight and try to be way better when I get back, so, yeah. Eric? Well, as you continue to play more and more snaps, the healthier you get week to week, um, seems like you were, you know, flying around, flashing a little bit last Saturday. Anything to that? What was working well for you in that ball game? Um, just doing what was asked of me. Uh, in practice, we was trying to, trying to get vertical in the gaps and try to uh, not get cut out and things like that. So just doing exactly what was told to me, and it showed up in the game. So just practice how I was playing. Well, play how I was practicing, yeah. What do you see from Missouri's offense, specifically that <coughs> offensive line? Um, I would say they're kind of they're pretty similar. They, uh, they go fast. They stretch a lot. Uh, they have a, a great uh, running back. He's had a lot of success this season. The offensive line is pretty good. But all in all, I would say they're, they're pretty similar uh, speed-wise and everything like that. Elijah, we, we ask offensive linemen about leading the SEC in rushing. You guys are leading SEC in run defense, too. As a defensive lineman, how, how much pride do you take in being able to stop the run? Uh, that's, the, that's the main thing we, we're here for, really, trying to stop the run. Then once we get done with first first and second and third down. Well, it's first and second down, we get to third down, go pass. But run is we we're very prideful in that and we've been doing that. We're trying to take pride take more and more pride of it every week uh, as we go on throughout the season the rest of the season. So. <clears throat> Missouri's got a quarterback that can make some things happen with his legs as a defensive lineman. How important is it to get after the passer but also stay Gap integrity, stuff like that, to not allow things to open up for him to, to go through? Uh, main thing is uh, condensing the pocket, making sure he doesn't get out, doesn't have lanes to, uh, to escape in. So making sure, the, like I was saying, making sure the pocket is way smaller, just you know, keeping them inside. Well, I just, a few of your coaches now have said that they thought Saturday might have been the, first, the best game you've played since you've been at Tennessee. How much better do you think you can play than that? Oh, uh, I mean, I always want to get better each and every week. But like I was saying, I'm just trying to gradually get better and better every week. So that's about it.